Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how I installed my knotless braids. And this was my very, very first time. So they are not perfect by any means, but hopefully you will be able to learn from the errors I made. So first I began by sectioning my hair into the relevant rows. Um, because my hair is very dense, I knew that this would be one of the more time consuming processes for me. So I tried to do it beforehand. So first I separated the hair according to the thickness that I desired my braid to be. And then I separated that piece of hair into three different sections in descending order of size. So I separate my hair into three strands as you would do with your traditional braid or plait as we say in the Caribbean and I began plaiting. I would caution you guys not to plait so much before adding your first piece of hair. Most people who do box braids typically add smaller pieces of hair but more pieces of hair. I was being lazy and taking the shortcut so I only added three pieces of hair. You can choose to do it any way. I don't feel like it affected my process too gravely because of the size of my parts but do your research before you choose what method you want to use so as you can see i began plaiting outside and my braids are not uniformed throughout the entire braid because as you will see coming up i changed the pattern of my plaiting to make it more comfortable for myself began to plait inside at this point and so there would have been a kink in the braid. It was not very visible but if you want your braids to look more professional that is one tip that I have for you guys. Hey guys, so it's two mornings after. I just I'm getting off my bed and I wanted to show you guys how I tie my scarf. I just leave my hair down, I tie my scarf. It's unraveling right now actually. And then I place the ends of my hair on top and I put on my bonnet. That being said, it's two days after and I haven't shown you what my braids look like. One, the completed set. I finished at about 3 a.m. I was really really tired and I struggled with the front and then I still haven't dipped my ends in water or trimmed them and I think I'm gonna put beads so I will show you this I'm going to do my um, dipping right now So there you see me soaking the ends of the braids in hot water and that is to seal the ends of the braids and I clipped off the straggly ends. I'm just showing you it's about hip length, even without the beads and it was very very light. The beauty of knotless braids is that you don't have the tightness at the scalp. You have movement as soon as you put in the braids. A very comfortable feeling. And your girl was not pleased enough. It was not glam enough for me. It wasn't extra enough. So I decided to add beads. I typically use wooden beads. And so I used a combination of some older beads that I had there. 
and some new beads that I bought. They're all wooden, they're earth tones with a few accents. And I added three beads per braid. So here's another question for you guys. While it looked beautiful and I managed to keep on the beads for the entire month, there was some strain due to the length of the hair and the beads. So I would say if you want to put in beads, to shorten on the length of the hair a little more so that you're not sitting on the beads and straining your neck and back. So that's it guys. I hope that you learned something from this video even if it's not a perfect installation of box braids. To like don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content on natural hair and lifestyle my crown so heavy better help me carry my crown so heavy better help me carry my crown so heavy crowns so heavy my crown so heavy